Hello everyone, welcome to Must is Fine. Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving circumference of a circle. This is our first problem. Jason walked across a circular swimming pool and it is 15 feet across the center. How far will Jason swim around the pool? To solve this problem, we're going to use the four-step plan. First, we should understand the problem. We should know what is asked. In this problem, it is asking for the distance that Jason will be swimming around the pool. Next, what are the given facts? The given fact in this problem the swimming pool is 15 feet across. Alright, we understand already the problem. The next step is we're going to make a plan. Since the pool is circular, the distance around the pool is the circumference and the distance across is the diameter. The circumference is unknown and D or diameter is equal to 15 feet. Then, let's solve for C or let's find the circumference. We have already a plan, so let's carry out the plan. We're going to solve the problem. The formula in finding the circumference is equal to pi times diameter. The approximate value of pi is 3.14 and the diameter is 15 feet. So, let's find the product. 3.14 times 15. 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 0. Regroup 2. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Plus 2 is equal to 7. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 1 times 4 is equal to 4. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Then let's add the partial products. Bring down 0. 7 plus 4 is equal to 11. 1, regroup 1. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. Then let's count the decimal numbers in our factors. We have two decimal numbers in our factors and we're going to put two decimal places in our product. Circumference is equal to 47.1 feet. Therefore, Jason will swim 47.1 feet around the pool. We have already an answer to our problem. The last step is we're going to check. In checking, we're going to find the diameter. In finding the diameter, we're going to use this formula. Circumference divided by pi. The circumference is equal to 47.1 feet and pi is equal to 3.14. So, by using a calculator, if we're going to divide 47.1 and 3.14, the diameter is equal to 15 feet. As we all know that, the swimming pool is 15 feet across the center, or it has a diameter of 15 feet. Therefore, our answer is correct. Our next problem. A wheel has a radius of 14 inches. How far does it roll in one complete train? First, we're going to understand the problem. What is asked in this problem? It is asking for the distance of a wheel that roll in one complete train. What are the given facts? The given fact is the wheel has 14 inches radius. The next step is we're going to plan. Since a wheel's complete roll covers the distance around itself, it is the circumference. 
and given the radius is 14 inches, it follows that the diameter is 28 inches long. Then solve for C, or we're going to find the circumference. We have already a plan. Then let's solve the problem. The formula in finding the circumference is equal to pi times diameter. The approximate value of pi is 3.14. In our problem, the given is a radius, which is 14 inches. To make it a diameter, we're going to multiply it by 2. So 14 inches times 2 is equal to 28 inches. Let's find the product, 3.14 times 28. 8 times 4 is equal to 32, 2, regroup 3. 8 times 1 is equal to 8, plus 3 is equal to 11. 1, regroup 1. 8 times 3 is equal to 24, plus 1 is equal to 25. 2 times 4 is equal to 8. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Then let's add the partial products. Bring down 2. 1 plus 8 is equal to 9. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. 2 plus 6 is equal to 8. Then let's count the decimal numbers in our factors. We have two decimal numbers in our factors. Then we're going to affix two decimal places in our product. The circumference is equal to 87.92 inches. Therefore, the wheel rolls 87.92 inches to make one complete train. We have already an answer to our problem. The last step is we're going to check. This time we're going to find the diameter. The formula in finding the diameter is equal to circumference divided by pi. In our problem, we get an answer of 87.92 inches as our circumference. And the approximate value of pi is 3.14. By using a calculator, if we're going to divide 87.92 inches by 3.14, the diameter is equal to 28 inches, which is the radius is equal to 14 inches. Therefore, our answer is correct. I hope that you understand our lesson for today and thank you for watching.